briefly for anybody just who didn't see our our last conversation about a month ago, uh, just give a quick recap of why you were on the show initially, what the project we were specifically talking about, and how you were like. And oh, by the way, Graham, there's a, <laughs> there's this tether thing happening, and then <laughs> and then then and then let us bring us up to speed on what's going on with tether. Okay, so uh, you brought me on to talk about um, MMTLP Nextbridge. Uh, it was a, a preferred share that wasn't supposed to trade that some market makers somehow got trading. And in the process, shorted it even further. We got to the point where we were a couple of days away from Next Nextbridge basically saying, like, we're just going to make this stock private because we can't keep you guys from shorting this thing. Mm -hmm. Um and so we were two days away from them shutting down trading when and, and enforcing all these closed positions to happen for all the shorts. And FINRA stepped in and was like, we're just going to stop trading now. Ah! And now it's been, what, we're 37 days or something from distribution. And no one has gotten their shares yet because they didn't close any of the short shares. So no one has the ability to get actual shares from this. Uh, so FINRA just made a giant, a giant uh uh dookie all over this thing um so what's happened since is lots of rumors um there's lots of rumors that there's going to be a gray market which is sort of this private sales market that brokers can do where someone will approach an owner of these shares and say hey i'll give you this much for it say yes or no um and that's a way they're going to clear out all these short positions um, there's other rumors that starting next week, they're going to be doing, just going to open up trading for five days, uh, regularly. Um, I have no idea about the validity of any of this. Uh, right. the big thing is, is the, of the lawsuit, a young woman in Florida named Rosa to has, um, launched in the Northern district of, uh, cat is trying to attack me here. Can everybody sit in my lap? Um, and, uh, so she's in the Northern District of Florida, and she's suing FINRA for injunctive relief, meaning, hey, you owe us two more days of trading. Uh, the judge, without really reading her filings, threw out the uh, emergency injunction. And so now we're waiting on FINRA to um, give an answer to the lawsuit. Her filings are brilliant. They are extremely well written and thorough. Uh, FINRA's filings so far are... Um, they're written like a at like a fourth grade reading level and they misrepresent case law. It's pretty incredible. So <laughs> it, if, if she, if she, if she gets denied by this judge, I think she has a really clear cut case to go to, to appeal to um, the, the appellate court. Uh, Cause the judge was like, Oh, FINRA is immune to lawsuits. They're not immune right. to lawsuits. They're immune to monetary damages from lawsuits. And that's, that there's a difference there. Like she's not suing for monetary damages. She's just suing them for them to do their job properly. And uh, there's no immunity there. And so Finro's like, no, no, we're immune. And the judge's like, yeah, they're, they said they're immune. So they're immune. Uh, but, but in Rosa's recent filing, she showed several instances where Finro has been sued for similar actions and not for monetary damages and have gone successfully. So hopefully the judge actually reads through these documents and, you know, makes a ruling that affects the entire market and shorts everywhere. Okay. Uh, but that's what we're waiting on. And we're just kind of in a holding pattern of rumor and innuendo for the last sure. month. <laughs> okay. So yeah. th that, that's a good update on that. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. We are still in our like ninth month of demonetization from YouTube. So support what we're doing at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood, which is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. It's free to sign up and there's a premium level at $10 a month. And for that, you get everybody on the platform's premium content. Myself, Lee Camp, Ron Placone, Jimmy Dore, Whitney Webb, Kim Iverson, Abby Martin, and many, many others. You can also support what we're doing at Venmo at Graham-Elwood and go to GrahamElwood.com. We have a PayPal button and a PO box. I also have crypto wallets, which are all in the show notes. Thanks for supporting what we do.